Big Bach. Yeah. And Cut. But we're, <laughs> we're back. All right, we raced out of work. Check. Oh, check. Tripod. Forgot the tripod. Not checked. <laughs> okay, tell the folks what we're doing today. We're going hunting. It's been a week, and she's getting antsy. She's bugging me. It's true. So we're gonna go hunt. Um, wind. What's going on? Got really warm the last few days, and we are gonna go hunt because it got cold today. Yep, going down into the 30s tonight. So it's the start of a cold front pushing in. Kind of getting to the end of October. Uh, got a picture of some bucks starting to get a little frisky. Um, they were following a few different doe groups back to bed. Um, the wind for where we really want to be is kind of marginal, but we have some options. We got to see when we get out there. Comes, comes the facts. Okay, so we're gonna sneak in here. We're a little early today, which we're gonna need so we can figure out our setup. And if the wind out here where we're going isn't cooperating, we're probably gonna have to leave and go somewhere else. Anything else? Over and out. Okay, so spot number one is a no-go. Too variable wind. Yep, the wind's um, not cooperating and it's gonna shift even further to where we don't want it. But real funny, we just are on the way to our second plan B and a buck just ran across the highway. Oh, it's just my heart. <laughs> my heart. Where we both have like jelly. <sighs> Almost hit a buck. I was within a few feet of him, I think. He was, yeah, and we're, he's going 70. So that would have been pretty messy. Like a nice little basket pointy basket. Alright, we're gonna get to our second location, check the wind, and we will be back at ya. More to come. not the direction I anticipated them going. Yeah, that's interesting, huh? That is interesting. There's a couple of them now. Come on. 
this way? Yeah, this, they're right here. They're going this way now. Coming this way. Okay. 70, maybe 100 yards. Oh, here comes a buck straight down the pipe. Young buck. She running behind her. Oh yeah, they're they're definitely running around back there. Looks like two big bucks. Yeah. Damn, they're walking away. Evening set. We forgot to intro in the car. Eric's getting the tree prepped. A couple hours here, a beautiful night for a set. It's go a gorgeous fall evening. Um, let's see, temperature mid 50s and then dropping into the 30s for the next two nights. So a nice little cold front coming through here. We have noticed a lot of pre-rut uh, pre sign around here. There's a couple of scrapes that they're working down this way and up this way and then out to the field. Uh, 
And then we saw a couple of rugs as well, new and old. So I guess you never know. We know, like I said, we have some cameras up, so we know there are some big um, bucks in this area. All right, temps going down in the 30s, and then we have a north-northwest wind, which will change to a due north wind for the last two hours of the sit. Heard some blue jays over here popping off, so we're gonna try to get up. I'm gonna try to get up in the tree quickly. And we're gonna get situated, and we'll uh, we'll be back. More to come. How are we doing up there, big boy? Oh, we're doing great. Not really. All right, guys. I shot my crossbow today, and it felt good. Out to like 30. I'm gonna go 40, but I would prefer to shoot 30. I haven't killed anything with a crossbow yet. I only did muzzle loader last year, and I took down a buck and a doe. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Tell me you see something coming. Okay, get ready. Okay, ready? Yeah, get ready. No deer yet. Jack. Maybe soon. Jack. We're sitting here. We're definitely going to see some deer in this field over here. Without question, there'll be some deer out here. Kind of coming down this path this way. They've been coming from, coming from back there and kind of cutting this corner right here. There's some trails. 20, 25 yards, 15 yards, and even out there to like 30 some yards, but it's pretty thick in here. It's definitely close quarters. We'll see what happens. Long beard down, out. Hey, Bob. That thing is large. He's up already by himself, just walking down Broadway. See, we gotta start bringing the rattlers. Yeah. Got rattle at him though. He's he would have come in downwind. And a big buck just stood up and walked out, cruised that edge where some does typically go and feed in the evenings. And he just walked that field edge right along here. And then he went back, he cut back the other way. He's actually walking with the wind, but we're hoping that these does that feed in this field, he's gonna follow one of them out or another buck's gonna come from back this way and follow some does out. So we'll see what happens. It's a beautiful night no matter what. End of October. Can't really ask for much more than that. All right, we got our next participant out here. later a little after six I don't know what's going on we haven't seen many deer it's kind of odd for this place usually we see quite a few but still got maybe an hour of shooting light left the sun's starting to set
that. Oh, he's coming up the field edge. Just hold tight. Yeah, he's decent. Not a shooter, right? I don't know. He's decent. He's looking right at us all the stuff. He's outside his ears. It is? Yeah, he's wider than his ears. Just hold still. Walking away. Alright, well, I don't know why he didn't come right through this path, but that's okay, that happens. It's right through here, that could have been the yep. only bit the same one as the other night that we spooked right here, cutting right across. That deer didn't look terribly familiar to me, but we'll, uh, we'll wait and see. I be a good time for another one to stroll right through here. He did exactly what we wanted him to. He just didn't take the path we wanted. You got him to come back almost. That was yeah. awesome. I, was, I should have grunted earlier, but he could see right up in here, and he never saw a deer, so he wasn't going to tolerate that. That's where if we could have been on, on the ground or, like, shaking some leaves or something. I think it would have been better. 